Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the Git audio time seconds node. We'll go ahead and run our quick little example. So for Git audio time, for example here, we have a physics object bouncing, and then we have a timeline object timelining, and we can pause and adjust time dilation. Up here we have our tick delta, how much each frame, and then our audio time seconds value. And if you notice, it's progressing up. Now if I adjust my time dilation, you'll notice our audio time is going to go ahead and proceed at normal speed. It's going to count up one every second, obviously, per tick delta. But everything else is slowed down due to our time dilation. And if we were to adjust our time dilation higher, our audio seconds is going to continue as well. If we were to pause, despite what our time dilation is, our audio seconds is going to pause. It's at 46. If we were to unpause, it's going to continue on. If we look at our audio time seconds node, you'll note it's going to say, it basically it's the time in seconds since the world is brought up, basically when you hit play. But if the time is stopped, sorry, if the game is paused, this counter will stop. But it's not dilute, not dilated or clamped. Basically, this node is useful if you want to know your unadjusted time due to dilation. Dilation, of course, is when you slow down or speed up the game, globally, in this case. My audio time is going to give me an accurate game time. But if I pause it, it's going to go ahead and treat as paused. So a useful example of this is your player is going from start to finish and you want to record the time. However, you do allow them to pause the game by using a pause function you've created. So this will give you accurate play time in terms of what you're playing. Uh, for a, a distance or a checking purpose, but it will not be adjusted by faster or slower. So you could have a power up that allows the player to pause the time around them, the enemies, or allows them to run faster. By adjusting this, your player can now run faster, but the actual game time that they're playing, a counter up or down, is going to be consistent unless they pause. So that is what the audio time seconds node is. It will give you back the amount of time that the game has been running. It will allow you to pause it, which will pause the audio time, but time dilation will not affect this node. 